happy birthday to Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator on March 19th, 2012 is 25 years old. I've had this program in beta test before then. I've been teaching this program since May 1987, 25 years. So if there's a quicker, faster way to do something, I'm the guy. I know how to do it. Back in 92, 93, I used to actually go out to Adobe's headquarters in California and teach them how to best use Illustrator. So if there's a better way to do things, I know how to do it. So I just want to share with you a very simple technique on how to work with the Pathfinder. So the first thing I do when I set up an Adobe Illustrator document is I always bring up my rulers, command key R for Macintosh, control R for Windows. Then I always put a guide. I'm just going to put a guide roughly in the center of my page. It doesn't have to be in the center of the page, but I just want a place to draw from. So step one is I always, always bring up my rulers. I always bring up my guides. Then I always go to my layer palette. And I call my first layer. I'm going to detach this. Incidentally, we're working in essentials mode. So this way it works the same way on your computer as my computer. CS 5.1 essentials. So step two, after I put my guides and rulers, I double click this. And I'm going to call this my design layer. Make a change. Save a change. Good have to get into Therefore, whatever you create at this point is inside my design layer. It's a very powerful technique. Once the object is created, I can then put it in its own layer. Now, the most important thing here before we start here, you'll always see me select the direct selection tool first. Once I select the direct selection tool, you'll never see me physically select it again. Very, very powerful production technique. This technique works in Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign, Flash. So I'm going to hit the A tool. Okay, now if I want to create a circle from the center, hit the L key, that's going to select my oval tool. I'm going to select a circle from the center by holding on the Alt key for Windows, Option key for Mac, and create it from the center. Holding down the Shift key to constrain it from the center. Okay, now if I want to move this, I can't move this with the oval tool. Now for those novices out there, you probably see this a lot. You go to select it, click, you get this dialog box. Because you're in the ellipse tool, and Illustrator assumes that you want to make an ellipse. So to avoid that from happening, and to avoid from going up here to the selection tool every 10 seconds, remember, we started out the project by hitting the A key. That selects a direct selection tool. Now, no matter what tool I have selected, I simply hold out the command key. The command key turns into a selection tool. The command key will turn any tool, brush tool, paint tool, into the last selection tool that you selected. So I select the direct selection tool first. Therefore, whatever tool I select, the B for brush tool, the P for pen tool, holding down the command key, and keeping the command key held down turns into a selection tool. It's a very, very, very powerful technique. Now, let's get started with our exercise here. I'm going to show you how to master the Pathfinder Unite tool. So I want to create another oval from the center. So I'm going to create an oval from the center by holding down the Option key and dragging. And I'm just going to nick that right about there. Now, I'm going to hold down the Command key, select this, and move this down. Okay, so I just want to share with you that these are two separate objects. Two separate objects. Now, what I want to do is bring up my Pathfinder palette. All palettes are under the Window menu, Window menu, Pathfinder. Now, there's a shortcut for that, but it's okay if you don't know the shortcut. I'm just going to bring the Pathfinder. Now, with Pathfinder, if you move your mouse over these different icons, it will actually tell you what it's about to do. So what we want to do is unite these two objects. Now, very simple technique here, and it's very frustrating to a lot of novices. If you simply click the Pathfinder icon for Unite, nothing's going to happen because I broke the rule of software. In order to affect something, you need to select something. So I'm going to hold down the Command key and select these two objects. Now, it's not necessary to like all the paths. I'm just going to select the two objects. Okay, 
Now, little production technique here. Let's say you do want all the paths and all the anchor points, and you don't want to do this, and you don't want to select all, command A for all for Macintosh, control A for Windows. So a little, again, little production technique here. Holding down the command key plus the alt key for Windows, option key for Mac, turns into a group selection tool temporarily. Therefore, I can just nick part of the path and get the whole entire path. Very powerful technique. If you don't hold down the Alt key or the Option key, you're just going to get this part of the path, which if that's what you're looking for, that's what you're going to get. But if you want to get both the objects, hold down the Command key plus the Alt key, it turns into a group selection tool. Okay, so here's the objective here. I'm going to select this object. I'm going to select both the objects by holding down Command, Option, Click. Now they're selected. Now they can be affected. Okay, now if I come over here to Pathfinder and I click Pathfinder, by default, by default, it's going to make this one object. Now I'm kind of stuck with this one object unless you know exactly that you want that object. But let me show you some serious, serious flexibility here. Command and Z, I'm going to do this. Incidentally, I'm going to change the fill. Right now, the fill is white. Let's just change the fill to a different color. Let's change the fill, just because we can, to red. Now, this is filled with red, and it's stroked with black. Okay, so I'm going to select Command, Option, Drag. I'm going to select both objects. Now, before I clicked here, it made it one object. Now, I want to have the best of all the worlds. I want this to be ignited, plus I want it to be separate. I want this to be separate but equal, separate but equal. It's still going to be united, but I want the flexibility of moving my objects separately. So how can I accomplish this? Hold on, Alt key, Windows, Option key for Macintosh, Option for Choices, Options for Choices, holding the Option key or the Alternative key in Windows. So if I hold down the Alt key and I click, this is now united as one. To demonstrate that, I'm just going to click the top object and change the color. It changed all the colors. Okay, But here's what I want to do here. I want to select this top object with my Direct Selection tool. I could do that by holding down the Command key. 